Well, looking at the viewfinder, that is not the most ideal picture because the top of the radio is causing glare. We'll have to turn the brightness down of the sun. So this is the AKD 77's 7001 mod G0 Jeff. Roger, I'm just going to put the other side of the radio on GR just in case I'll lose it. It's not that GR. Roger. Oh, well, it spoke. So, Mr. Chippy's in his car, not the usual test car. So, he's in a Nissan Almera. He's got a roof mounted, um, I think it's a double 58. We're going to do the usual test route. He's going to be on 5 watts because of the radio in his car, that is the lowest it goes. And if you looked at the video of me doing the servicing on this radio, it sold as a 3 watt radio and I managed to get 3.5 watts out of it. So that's what we are doing. So I'm not expecting that much on 3 watts on 433.525. So we're on channel SU21 which is Simplex UHF channel 21, 433.525. The calling channel is 433.5 SU20. So he's going to go for a little drive, usual te tests, and we're going to go to Scratchy Corner and we will see whether it's readable. It might work the whole six miles. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. wouldn't say the its own loudspeaker is that inspiring but you can plug an extension speaker in uh, at the end of the day you've got a I think it's a one and a half inch speaker in there so it's pretty small G0 OJF got you at the Ancaster service station Zero OJF. Yeah, what's up, Mark? What is it? Oh, ha. Roger got you at the top of the hill. OJF to 2E0 FKC, you're loud and clear, surprisingly better than I expected, Ava. Roger that, you're dropping out a little bit from being behind as well, because I'm going to be on the red flag, so I'm going to be in a problem. Roger on that, on 3.5 watts. Well, that was a surprise. Is there FKC from G0, Jeff? Was that you, over? Yeah, uh, going over Wilsford Level Crossing. Roger, got you going over Wilsford Level Crossing. Roger. Yeah, that was a bit choppy. Roger, got you at the Kelby turn. Got you at the Kelby turn. So we're going to let him go on to the next one, which is that's the four mile point. So we're going to let him go on to the five mile point and the six mile point just in case. We've already pre arranged that. Uh, 
G0 OJF, that was loud and clear over. Roger. Roger, you're now loud and clear. This is now the best I've heard you since the top of the hill. Over. Yeah, your attention gives me uh, your radio 5 and 0. Over. Roger, now I'm going to swap aerials over. Yep, yeah, no problem. Two zero FKC from G0 OJF. Do you read over? Yeah, I'm loud and clear about 70 other aerials to be Excellent. So uh, just look at me colours. I'm now on the yellow aerial over. Yeah, that's the Diamond X510. So that's the Diamond X510N, and the other aerial for the video is. Uh, I think that's the V6000 uh, Tribunder. Roger, is that a Moonraker one over? Okay, yes. Right, that's it, thanks very much, and um, that's that's the end of the test. Uh, G0 Jeff out. Yeah, that, okay, so when he went to the bottom of the hill, it was only just readable. When he got to Willsford, it was not very readable. When he got to Kelby, it was not very readable. When he went to Greyleys, which is surrounded by trees, it became more readable. And then when he finally got to the six mile point at Rawlsby level crossing, it was uh, as, as excellent as he heard it. We wanted to just check if one error we've got here was better than the other, and um, it doesn't look like there's much difference on UHF, so that's solved another little thing. So that's three watts on 70 SEMs. It, I actually tuned that radio to three and a half watts. One of the letdowns on this radio is it has an SO239 socket on the back, and really at UHF it should be a BNC or an N-type because much beyond 225 megs and those are really really lossy so not good uh, and that would be a, a sensible modification to, to change that uh, not that we're going to and uh, there's quite a lot of cable uh, although it's um, it's thick uh, and commercial grade uh, between here and the aerial so there you have it the AKD 7003 70 SEMS radio with 100 channels programmed into it, no CTCSS, not really that much use, but it does work, and we've just had that six mile copy. Thank you for watching.